Hi, I'm in Kurosawa in Japan and I'm a tourist. I've been wandering around Hong Kong and Japan for a couple of weeks and as a European, to some degree, you stand out because everyone else is a Hong Konger or, or Japanese, etc. And it made me think about something that people say to me a lot. I really care what other people think about me. And being a tourist, being a stranger in a strange land has made me realize that in fact you don't care what other people think about you. You care what you think other people think about you. You care what you think other people think about you. So how do you know what other people think about you? Well, what happens is you take your most negative beliefs about yourself, you project them outwards into what is essentially imaginary people. And you imagine those people think these things about you. And you think, well, gosh, that'd be, if that person thought this about me, that would be awful. And so you then start to, to manage your life so that these imaginary people don't think these things about you, even though you believe them about yourself in the first instance. So you don't care what other people think about you. You care what you think other people think about you. But what other people are thinking about you actually is what you believe about yourself. It's what you're thinking about yourself. So this is my general rule, right? Don't let imaginary people be in charge of your life. Don't let imaginary people tell you what to do because imaginary people are not very nice. They're not very nice because they're simply reflecting back your projections of the negative stuff you believe about yourself. So if you want to be, in a sense, free of the tyranny of imaginary people, then you've got to actually challenge your own negative beliefs because it's your negative beliefs that you're actually frightened of. Not what imaginary people think about you. Because imaginary people, well, first of all, they don't exist. But if they did exist, imaginary people are not very nice.